Now to your health. You may have noticed the Morning Rush team wearing red today. Well, we're supporting National Wear Red Day and the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement to raise awareness for the number one killer of women, which is heart disease. The focus on preventing heart attacks and strokes taking on a new sense of urgency this year as doctors are reporting a growing number of healthy women who've recovered from COVID are showing signs of heart damage. Joining me live now to discuss this troubling trend and the warning signs, Atlanta cardiologist Dr. Dave Montgomery. Full disclosure here, Dr. Dave is my cardiologist. Good morning to you, Dr. Dave. Good morning, Sheba. Looking splendid in your red this morning. And so are you with the red Thank tie. You. So Thank heart, you. heart disease, we know, claims a woman's life every 80 seconds. No matter how many times I hear that, it stops me in my tracks. Is this just an issue for older women? No, it's not, and that's a surprising thing. The, the other statistic that's really uh, surprising is more than 250,000 women will die from heart disease that many of which should not die. We think that heart disease, to one of your points earlier, is about 85 to 90% preventable. So this is something that deserves our attention, not just now, but every day of the year. The American Heart Association saying that 45% of women aged 20 or older are living with some form of heart disease. We are nearing a year into this pandemic. Dr. Dave, what heart issues and long-term symptoms are you seeing with healthy women who've since recovered from COVID? Yeah, you know, we're getting a lot of people in my preventive uh, cardiology practice saying, you know, I experienced, I got diagnosed, I should say, with COVID-19 in the summer or in the spring. And still today, in February of 2021, they're having shortness of breath, chest pain. These are healthy women. These are people who had no problems before. They're having palpitations. Their heart just races out of nowhere. When they stand up, they're feeling faint or lightheaded. Some women are actually fainting. And what we're finding is that many of those women actually have some heart damage or some heart inflammation that's left over in the wake of the COVID-19 fight in their immune system. There was a study uh, back in May and June that showed that even people who didn't have really severe COVID symptoms, we're talking about people who recovered at home, had signs of active heart inflammation and real heart damage. Higher blood pressure as well? Yeah, blood pressure is becoming a problem. We're talking about young, healthy women, no problems with blood pressure, coming in with higher blood pressure, higher heart rates, things that seem really, really bizarre. And what we're finding is that this virus just does not play by any you know, sort of playbook. It really is attacking the heart. It first is a lung problem, as we know, right? Mm -hmm. Shortness of breath, coughing. It then becomes, in many cases, a heart problem as well. So we are asking women to go get screened for this. We have to remember that some of the signs of a heart attack for women are different than men. How do we know that we're in trouble? Yeah, you know, this is one of the things that every February I, I take uh, a, a bit of caution to not throw people off the scent. Now, remember, when we list the, the classic symptoms of, of heart disease, people know that still for women, chest pain is still the commonest symptom. Many women can, you know, you know may not develop chest pain. They might have just profound fatigue out of nowhere. They might have nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, things like that. But here's what I say to women, because I don't want to just name five things and then they develop something else and then misunderstand that symptom to be heart disease. I tell them UPS, unusual, prolonged or severe. If you're experiencing anything from the top of your jaw to the pit of your stomach, mm -hmm. that is unusual, prolonged or severe, that deserves your undivided attention and the attention of your doctor. Yeah, see the doctor, stick to a healthy diet, exercise, raise awareness. Dr. Dave Montgomery, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to be with you, Sheba.